Hi, my name is Daniel Kelly, and in today's video, we'll be exploring how to drill into a traffic pattern in Kentex Data Explorer. The traffic on the chart here is from a specific host machine that is sending traffic to Kentech right now. And we can see that there are several large spikes on the time series chart for this device. The first thing I'm going to do is click and drag on the screen to zoom in on the specific area of time the spikes occurred in. And then I'm going to ask Kentech to explore some of the other dimensions to this traffic. Right now, we're only looking at the total. Click the Edit Dimensions box, and the dimension choices will appear. I'm going to start with source AS number. This would be the AS number of the networks the traffic is coming from. Kentech will automatically run the query after we select Save and display the results. The Highest source AS number was Digital Ocean, but right underneath that we have zero reserved AS. This is RFC 1918 traffic, and I can safely exclude it. Doing so will change the height of the stacked series chart to only display the data that was coming over the internet. If we want to explore further, we could pick an AS and drill into it by specifically including it. Since source AS number for DigitalOcean is the number one result, I'm going to pick that. Clicking the box on the right and then clicking Include will bring up this Apply Filters dialog box again. During this time, you can click to include or exclude other rows before having the query run. Once you click Apply Filters, the query will run automatically and again, generate the results. Now that we're down to a single source AS number, we can ask Kentech a different question. Clicking the Edit Dimensions box, we can get rid of Source AS since we've already locked our query to that in the filters and select something different. For instance, the destination service. This would be the service that traffic was trying to reach on our host that came from DigitalOcean. Kentech reruns the query and we have the results again. The top result is alternate HTTPS, which is port 8443 TCP. And almost equally, we have port 10 to 50 TCP, which is a custom application running on the network. Now that we have a better idea for what applications were involved on the host during this period of time, we can go to the host and grab logs or ask the service owner if they experienced any downtime. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.